Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. Before we begin talking about Major League Baseball games for August 8th, I want to invite you to join. You'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section with all the great tools that you need. So the full slate of games from Major League Baseball, we're going to take a look at quite a few of them for August the 8th as we are about two-thirds of the way, or close to three-quarters of the way, actually, through the Major League season. We're going to look at the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies host the Mets here in the National League East battle. You can see the Phillies are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last four and four out of their last six. While the Mets are ice cold up, they are only two and four over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that the Phillies hold an advantage here at plus 19 to plus 3. The teams have not yet named their starting pitchers, and the odds have not yet been posted for this game. If you're considering the over and under in this matchup, you see that the, the Mets are trending in games over the line. The Phillies are trending in games under the line. It's a good indication to avoid the over under bet in this one. If you want to take a look at the scores predictor, though, up here, the scores prediction is Philadelphia 7 and the New York Mets 5 with a 56% level of confidence in this prediction. Right now, I think that the Phillies will win the game. They have the hot hand right now and they are playing at home and they will even inch closer to the Mets for the league, or for, excuse me, for the division lead. Okay, the next game we want to look at here is the Mariners and the Yankees. The Mariners head to New York to take on the Yankees. Seattle is average down at the moment. You see they have lost their last game and they are 3-3 three three over their last six while the Yankees are burning hot winners of five out of their last six. The pitching matchup is Yossi Kikuchi for the Mariners and Luis Gill for the Yankees. Kikuchi is 7-6 and six with 3.89 ERA. You see he has plus 369 on the pitcher profit oscillator. And Gill is, has very little in the way of a sample size. He is 1-0 with a 0 ERA. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you see that the Yankees... And the Mariners are both on a little bit of an upward trend. The Yankees at plus 24, and the Mariners at plus 27. If you consider the over and under in this game, the Mariners are playing in games trending over the line, while the Yankees are playing in games trending under the line. Generally, when that is the case, I tend to avoid betting the over and under. Let's take a look here at what the scores predictor shows. The scores predictor shows a little bit something different. Of course, it's only a 49% confidence in prediction, but it has the Yankees here at 11 to 2 margin of win, which most likely, now the line hasn't been set yet, but most likely that would be an over. So the way I'm looking at it is the Yankees will win the game at home. It will be a much closer contest than the scores predictor indicates. Tampa Bay and Baltimore. Boston and Toronto. Here's another matchup we want to look at in the AL East. And they, in this battle, the two teams are heading in opposite directions. As you see, the Red Sox are dead up. They did win their last game, but over their last six, they are just 1-5. The Blue Jays are burning hot at the moment, winners of five out of their last six. The pitching matchup has not completely been set. The Red Sox have named their starter Garrett Richards. He is 6-7 and seven with a 5.21 ERA. Despite the high, high ERA, he has been a good bet at plus $299 on the pitcher profit oscillator. The Blue Jays have not yet named their starting pitcher. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here, not surprisingly, Toronto plus 29. And look at look at Boston up at, tw at plus 28 just a couple weeks ago, and they are down zero at the moment, indicating their very poor trend. If you look at the total predictor, you can see Boston is playing in games trending way under the line. As is Toronto, it's a very good indication to play the under. I would bet the under in this one. Uh, even though the scores predictor has a 6-5 to five edge for Toronto with 53% confidence, that's probably not going to be an under as far as going by that. Of course, the line has not yet been set, but I would go with the under based on the trends, and I believe the Blue Jays will end up getting the victory. Next game we want to look at is the Washington Nationals and the Atlanta Braves. And another... And now each showdown, the Braves tried to keep pace with the Phillies and the Mets. They are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two and four out of their last six, while the Nationals have been playing poorly, losing their last three against the Phillies and four out of their last six. The power ranking indicator shows that the Braves are going on a slightly upward trend at plus 13, 
and you can see the nationals all the way down at plus two. The pitchers have not yet been named for this matchup. Um, if you're going to look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, like, like we always do, Washington is trending in the game slightly over the line, as is Atlanta. That could be an indication to bet the over. But let's take a look at the score predictor, prediction. The score prediction has the Braves with a 6-4 margin of win, with a pretty nice level of confidence at 67%. So I think that's what's going to happen. I think the Braves will win. The Nationals are a mess right now. The Braves will win and keep pace. The Twins and the Astros. In Houston, the Astros tried to gain momentum against the Twins in, from the American League Central. The pitching matchup is Kenta Maeda for the Twins. He is 4-4 four four with a 4.65 ERA and minus 654 on the pitcher prop. Oscillator. And you can see Lance McCullers is going for Houston. He is 9-2 with a nice ERA of 3.02 and has been a good bet at plus $324. The Astros are averaged down at the moment. You can see that they have... If I can get this to work properly. Anyway, the Astros are averaged down at the moment. They are 3-3 three three over their last six. And the Twins are 2-4 and four over their last six and ice cold down. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that... Houston is on an upward trend. They're up to plus 28 from plus 19 just a few days ago. And Minnesota has been up and down. They were plus 12 as of August 1st, and they dropped to 3, and now they're back up to plus 7. Considering the over and under in this game, you see that Minnesota is playing in games trending over the line. Houston is playing in games trending over the line as well. This is usually a good indication to bet the over, but let's see what the score prediction shows. The score prediction has a little bit of a different story here, but consider that it's only a 50% confidence in prediction with the Houston with a 6-3 margin of win. And take a look at this confidence in prediction as the game gets closer. But right now what I'm thinking is that the Astros, just, just a better team, just a better overall team, and they will take this one and win at home. But I would avoid the over and under. San Francisco and Milwaukee. The NL West meets the NL Central in this showdown. Both teams are average up at the moment. You can see that the Giants are 4-2 over their last six. And the Brewers exactly the same, 4-2 over their last six. Neither team has mentioned their starting pitcher as of yet. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that San Francisco is at plus 21 on a downward trend from plus 29 just a few days ago. But an even steeper decline is Milwaukee at plus 23 just a few days ago, down to plus six. If you're considering the over and under, you can see here after trending over the line, San Francisco is now trending a bit under the line. Milwaukee is still trending over the line. So as the case may be with the teams trending in opposite sides, I would avoid the over and under. But as far as the score prediction is concerned, we are looking at a seven to one margin of win for the Giants with a little bit better than a toss of a coin in the confidence of prediction at nearly 51%. I believe that the Giants will come away with a relatively easy win, but I would avoid betting it over and under. Kansas City and St. Louis. A couple more games you want to look at here. Arizona and San Diego. The Dodgers and the Angels. In this battle in Los Angeles, the Angels come in at burning hot, and the Dodgers are average. The Angels have won their last two, but are just 3-3 three three over their last six, while the Dodgers have been up and down. They have won three out of their last four, but 3-3 three three over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can notice that the Dodgers at plus 28 just a few days ago are dropped, have dropped to plus 15, while the Angels were down at plus 9, and they have actually gone up above the Dodgers at the moment at plus 17. Neither team has named their starting pitcher as of yet. Looking at the over and under, you can see here slightly over the line for the Angels, slightly under the line for the Dodgers. Again, when it's that kind of discrepancy like over under, both teams on opposite sides of the line, I would avoid betting the over and under. But hey, let's take a look at the score prediction, see what this has to say. If you look at this, with the Angels with a 3-2 slim margin of win, if this would be the case, this would definitely be an under, but look at the confidence in prediction at only 43%. If this confidence in prediction goes way up, 
and the score remains low like this, I would bet the under. But as of now, I would avoid it. As far as who's going to win the game, I think the Dodgers will come away with the win playing at home. The White Sox and the Cubs. Now this is the last game we want to look at for the day. The White Sox come in average down. They have lost their last game and they are 3-3 three three over the last six. The Cubs ice cold up. They have not really been playing good ball. They've lost, they lost four of their last five before coming away with the win against the Rockies in their last game. So 2-4 and four over the last six. Dylan Cease is scheduled to pitch for the White Sox. He is 8-6 and six with a 3.92 ERA. And the Cubs have not yet named their starter. Cease has been a relatively poor bet, though. You see here at minus $96 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you're considering the over and under, we'll take a look at that after we take a look at the power ranking indicator. But on the power ranking indicator, you see that the White Sox were down to plus three as of August 1st. They're in a steep uphill climb at plus 26, while the Cubs have dipped and they have been steady at plus one over the last couple of days. Now, if you can consider the over and under, you see here that the White Sox have been playing in games trending under the line over the last few days, and the Cubs over the line again. When there's a mix of over and under, I generally try to avoid betting the over and under, but it doesn't hurt to take a look at the score prediction. The score prediction with confidence of nearly 62% has the White Sox with a 5-2 to two edge. If that would be the case, that would be an under bet. So you might want to bet under if this confidence and prediction gets up a little bit higher with the score remaining relatively the same. That would be a good bet. As far as who's going to win the game, I believe that the White Sox will be the one that will take the, the game in the Windy City on the road to end the series. So there you have it. Those are all the games for August the 8th. It's a lot on schedule. Enjoy it. Happy betting. And we will see you next time.